everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley and we are here at my farm, Moss Leaf Farm, getting ready for a very amazing day because today is the day that I'm going to present the Mermaid Pendant, the special proposal item to the person that I have decided to marry. And yesterday was a super long rambling episode as I discussed in length why I have decided that the person who is going to get this Mermaid Pendant is going to be not Abigail, like I really really thought I had my heart set on for so long long, but actually Leia. I actually think Leia is going to fit the farm better. We are like equally at a certain maturity level. She's ready to settle down. She moved here to Stardew Valley to focus on her art and to focus on like her own independent uh, lifestyle. And Abigail, on the other hand, she's amazing and so much fun. And I love the idea of like, if we married her, we would be able to go on mining adventures and have a great time that way. I think that's really awesome, but she's just starting her life, so I see her as being super adventurous right now. And a lot of you guys are right. You pointed out that it would be kind of, it would be kind of like almost mean to tie her down to the farm lifestyle and all of the work and the chores and the natureness that has to do with living on a farm when Abigail really wants to go off and adventure and try new things and learn how to fight and dive into the mines and really build up her courage that way. So I thought about it so hard. I thought about it for like weeks straight it felt like. And Leia is going to be the final choice. And I'm still sort of, I'm not sure what that means, but it's going to be fun to see what our life is going to be like with her. And of course, we'll still be friends with Abigail. In my head, I feel like Abigail would actually continue to uh, visit Sturdy Valley, but I'm going to think that she actually goes on a whole bunch of adventures all the time, and she's off exploring the world and like diving into the mines and having a great time, and she just comes back to visit her parents and like leave all of her loot and her treasure at her house. So that's going to be kind of like my mental idea of what Abigail is going to do. But Leia has already got a cottage, she's already set up, she's ready to do artwork, so I feel like she'd be willing to help me out with the farm. She'd be willing to sit and talk about how nice the trees are while we sip tea on the front deck. And uh, that in the end, in the end, I think that's the life that we're gonna go with. Okay, so enough rambling about my marriage, my impending nuptials, oh gosh. Uh, we're gonna give the mermaid pendant to Leia today. Okay, I can do this. And we are going to work on taking better care of the farm. I need to go find where the heck my scythe went. Um, and we are going to be tidying things up and changing what is in the greenhouse. Because I have learned that the best things to grow in the greenhouse are blueberries and cranberries. We already have a whole bunch of blueberries over there. So I'm going to get our seed machine started on making more cranberry seeds. So that we can really get tons and tons of cranberries added into the greenhouse. Because they can make you so much money. And we want lots of money. The more money we get, the more we will be able to expand our farm and build it up. And one of the things we're working on right now is actually trying to get enough money to get the rabbit's hutch. So should I get the house extension or the rabbit's hutch? Hmm. Hmm. Good question. Good question. We'll go down to, we'll go over to the, dun, 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 the carpenter shop. There we go. And we'll kind of look over our options there. Uh, hopefully today. So we'll go do that in just a little bit. All right. So let's see what's going on. Fortune teller. And the spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Good. A lucky day is a good day for a proposal. And weather report. Welcome! Alright, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the flower dance. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. There's so many people I could dance with at the flower dance this year, but... Alright, so let's see. Is that everything? Let's check any quests. Pierre's noticed he wants some sashimi. And then the mysterious Kui. We have to take the final meal over to the sand dragon. And I hear the final meal is something very sparkly that you can find deeper inside of the skull mines. But they're going to have to wait. The skull caverns are going to have to wait because I'm kind of I've, I'm trying to have a wedding here. All right, do I have sashimi? Do I not have the recipe for sashimi yet? Or do I just not have what sashimi needs? Hmm, let's check, let's check. Red plate, ah, there we go. All right, so let's grab sashimi. Hopefully the fish I used was one I could afford to use. And let's see what we've got out here. All right, dear Siri, I usually don't give away my recipes, but since you've been such a sweetheart to George and I, oh, that's so sweet because they helped me figure out the sickness and health thing of who I should marry. Because really, I mean, I don't know if Abigail would want to take care of the farm if something happened to me. And I need to pick somebody who would want to take care of the farm and like, raise a family with me. So I think we're making the right choice, you guys. Oh, even if I am nervous about it. All right. New cooking recipe. The rice pudding has been learned. That's really cool. I hear rice pudding is delicious. 
Dear valued customer, thanks for visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cashback rewards program rebate. See you soon, Pierre. Sorry for the stock message. Siri, enjoy. Oh, oh my gosh, we're getting so much mail. Dear Siri, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we hold the dance. Yes, 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 Mayor Lewis. I am totally on this. Oh my gosh, I thought my duck was inside. I thought my duck was inside of here because it squawked just as we opened this up and it startled the doodles out of me. Oh my goodness. Cat Hill, don't do that. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see. Anything else we need to snack? I don't think so. All right, let's just get to work. We need to go ahead and put in our cranberries. Anything? I need to find where the heck my scythe went. I can't believe I didn't do that yesterday. I was just too distracted, too anxious, too much going on. I don't know if anything will grow the rest of the season. All right, wow, we're gathering up tons of stuff. I don't know if any more potatoes have time to grow. I'll go talk to Pierre, because I can't remember, because it's been so long off the top of my head, um, what plants have what growth rates. So I'll look into that and I'll put the little bait right over there. All right, oh, and look at that. The cranberry seeds are already done. Thank you very much. And we'll add more cranberries in. And we'll gather up these green beans. Does somebody like green beans? I feel like somebody asked me for a green bean. Oh, and that's right. If we put it over here, we have a bunch of speed grow put down to help things grow a bit faster. Well, I don't know. Could we get more strawberries or something? Hmm, and potatoes are such a good crop in the in the spring. I don't know if we'll have enough time though. We'll go talk to Pierre today and that'll give me a good estimate on what our time frame is for um for the potatoes and for the kale and everything also i need to find where i put my scythe i have a feeling it's probably back up at the mines i just don't remember where the heck i put it down so hmm, we'll work on that all right and we're getting oh that's a lot of cranberry seeds nice all right and anything i want to sell right now pretty much all of the starred stuff you know what almost all of the in fact all of the potatoes are just gonna go and i'm even off you go green beans i'll keep the cauliflower because why not but I've I've got a wedding to plan for. I need to I need to have a little bit of money on me. All right, how's everybody doing? Doing good, doing good. Let's come up and give Noodle Doodle some water. There you go, Noodle Doodles. I know, right, buddy? Oh gosh, and we need to go see if I can get that rabbit's hutch. So we'll run up there. All right, there we go. Come on, Rose Stone. And there we go. Wonderful. Wow, 14. That's a lot of cranberry seeds. We should be able to pull that off no problem. Hey, Marigold. All right, and did Kent like, the, I can't remember what Kent said about the mayonnaise we gave him. I was so distracted and tripping over my feet yesterday. Oh, <gasps> no way. Oh boy. I wonder if it's a, it's a good omen or a bad omen to have a chicken, avoid chicken hatch on the day of my proposal. Uh, all right, it looks a little odd. So this is the void chicken and it hatched from a void egg. So let's see, what am I gonna, I think I wanna name it like meteor. Meteor? Meteor. Meteor. So there we go. We'll name it, or how about Comet? No, Meteor. So, mm, well, Comet. Yeah, we'll go with Meteor for now because it sounds kind of cool. There we go. Because Void makes me think of space. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Well, <laughs> easy peasy, little guy. He does look a little bit a little bit frightening, and that does mean that we need to expand this coop, I suppose, especially if we want to have um, access, doo -doo -doo, especially if we want to have access to any chickens, or any chickens? What am I saying? I meant any rabbits, so we'll do that. Let's put these dinosaur eggs away. Should I keep them? I should probably keep the dinosaur eggs in the other coop. And I don't think I checked for dinosaur eggs yesterday, so we'll go do that. All right, and mayonnaise. I'll keep a mayonnaise to give away to Kent as a gift. And there you go, little one. At least there's some food for you. You should be good. All right, sweet peas good. All right, well, come on, Roastone. Let's ride up here really quickly so we can get a little bit. It's my little trick. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there's some wigglers. Oh, let's see what the Wigglers are hiding for us. Is it a present I could give to my future wife? Oh, it's some uh, mixed seeds. Nice. Well, I'll go ahead and plant those down in just a second here. All right. There you go, Rose Stone. Yeah, I have a lot of tidying of the farm that I will be doing, so don't panic, you guys. Ooh, two blackberries. Nice. I will be tidying up the farm. Everything is going to start looking a little bit nicer. Hi, everybody. All my little dinosaurs running around. All of my cows. Hey, do you have any milk for me today? Bluebell has no milk right now, Fooey. I should probably get more goats too. But I get I think getting the um, blueberries. Primos has no milk right now. Alright. Alright, don't let me down, milkweed. Yeah, milkweed! Yes! Alright, that means I can come in here 
Ooh, and that's actually a large goat's milk. Nice. In fact, I should get more goats <gasps> because if Leia's our wife, we definitely need to get more goats because she loves goat's milk. So, ha. Huh. And she also loves wine, so we might add in like a lot more kegs. See, I'm starting to get into the flow of this. I, I, get the, I think I can pull off the married life, little artichoke. Oh, all right. And I also want to get more plants or more or uh, like orchid plants. Orchid? What am I saying? I want to get more of the trees planted for an orchard. That's what I was trying to say. Hey, Primrose. Did I put the little, little guy over here? Hey, Asparagus. All right. All right. We're going to come down. Look at all this ancient fruit. What am I even going to do with the ancient fruit? What's the best thing to do with ancient fruit? Wow, there's a lot of it. Well, I'll have to think about that. All right. You're doing okay, little one. No eggs from little dinosaurs right now. We'll go ahead and put down this mixed seed right there, because why not? Gosh, what a busy, busy life, busy day on the farm. Out of my way, little weeds. <laughs> yeah, busy day, busy life on the farm. And it is going to just get busier, especially after the update comes out. We have all sorts of new things to start messing with. Whoops, I need to jump in here really quickly. So yeah, it probably is the best thing. The, the best thing probably is just to pick somebody who would be happy with the farm life. Oh, I need to stop dwelling about how hard it was to make that decision, though. No, I don't want to eat that strawberry. No, oh, the melons aren't ready. No wonder. But I need to stop dwelling about how hard it was to make that decision, and we're just going to move on with life. All right. So let's see. Over here, I think, is where I'm planning on putting the cranberries. Maybe. I think cranberries. Maybe cranberries right over here. So I, done and then done. Yeah, okay, so I'll just start some cranberries over here, I guess. It looks like we'll always end up wasting until we put in like an iridium sprinkler. We'll always end up wasting um, a sprinkler or two. So we'll get the cranberry seeds put down. And again, it's been a little while, so I apologize if my stardew skills are a bit rusty. And you guys, you're, you guys are like, Siri, what are you doing? You're being, you're being so weird with how you're working and how you're putting things down. I'll get back in the flow of things. Apparently, I get very nervous when I'm ready to get married. <laughs> so that's my, that's my explanation. All right, there's those. I'm gonna grab these and, oh, I should probably, oh, I should put down a better fertilizer is what I should do. So basic fertilizer improves the chance that the quality will be higher. That definitely should happen before I put anything down in the greenhouse. And yeah, a lot of people, I think, like to put tons and tons of um, really like high level stuff in the greenhouse. And the greenhouse is only for producing lots and lots of money. But you guys know me well enough to know by now that I do want to dedicate at least half of the space in the greenhouse to growing the things for a root platter so that we could have lots of fresh food made for Leia whenever she would like some of her favorite foods. So I'm not going to be dedicating the whole greenhouse just to making tons of money. Just half of it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Some oak resin. Sweet. We usually need that for random things. All right. Now I have a whole bunch. Oh, I missed a potato. How did I miss a potato? All right. Well, we'll come down. Let's go see how quickly a potato grows. Oh, geez. I'm like missing the whole day. I need to find my scythe. Gosh darn it. And I need to go propose. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have so much to do. All right. Let's ship all this out. Um... Ship the cheese. I'll ship the cheese. That's okay. And then let's see. I've got just a lot of random things. I'm just gonna leave a whole bunch of random things here. Apricot. Here, all of you guys stay here except green bean. You can come with me, and I'll give you to the mayor because I think he enjoys green beans. And oak resin. You need to stay as well. There we go. So we're gonna go look for the scythe. We're gonna go pop up to the carpenter's house. Our little uh, wonderful friends up there. So let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go see. We're gonna go over there to Robin and we're gonna go see what she has to say about building a bigger coop and we're gonna try to find Leia and give her the mermaid pendant. Oh my goodness. All right, we've got this. It'll be okay. I love how far the chickens have begun to roam, by the way. I'm noticing that they just get further and further afield. Hey, Pam, it's gonna be a little while. Oh, I need to get you like some wine, don't I? I was reading the newspaper this morning, but then I got depressed. It's a rotten world, kid. Tell me about it. Keep your head screwed on right and you'll make it in one piece, though. That's what my poppy always used to say. And I also believe in trying to make the world a better place, Pam. Let's do our best. All right. Okay. Come here, Rosestone. I want to grab this little flower. There we go. Little dandelions, because some people really love dandelions. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and ride Rosestone up there. Because it's almost just as fast. Wow, there's dandelions all over the place. Nice. It's going to be awkward. 
I wonder like if there would be future dialogue where like the person you didn't marry, you have to like have a confrontation with them or something. Oh, it's just so difficult, but I'm just gonna move on. We've got new plans for the farm. We've got a new partner we're gonna pick for the farm. And you know what? All I can do from here is be loyal and loving and work hard on all my other little projects, which include, oh, look at the mushrooms. <gasps> I would do so much for decorative mushrooms. All right, hey, Demetrius. This valley has a very vibrant and diverse ecosystem. That's one reason I was excited to move here. Also, I think that people's relationships with you no longer deteriorate after it hits 10 out of 10 hearts. I think that was a very old update a long time ago I remember reading about. All right, yes it does, Demetrius. Robin! 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 Tuesday. Ah, I totally forgot about that. All right, I don't have anything for Maru. I don't have anything to give to Sebastian. Curses. All right, uh, does he like Amethyst? I think he likes Amethyst, actually. I could be totally wrong. Sebastian, you emerged from your room. How you doing? Oh, that's right, he has 10 out of 10 already. Your hair looks nice today. Do you want to hang out for a while? I totally would. I have something really important I have to do today. Would you like this? Thanks, I like this. It was very nice seeing you. I'll send you an invitation. To what, you ask? Don't worry, I'll explain later. All right, so I guess that didn't work out the way I thought it would. Let's go find Leia. So that's our next goal. She might be off in the forest. I will bring her a bouquet of daffodils. Where am I going, Rose Stone? Who knows? Who knows? I'm still quite the distracted Siri. I had no idea I would get so anxious about about weddings. All right, let's see. Let dig around in the trash for a second. Nothing there. Oh, there's a little quest quest. Let's see what that is. Slime hunter to slay four red slimes in the deep lava caverns of the local mine. Why not? We'll go ahead and accept that. Oh, and Pierre! Actually, hey, Mayor. At the start of each season, you'll have to remove the previous season's dead crops. It's easiest with a scythe. I'm missing my scythe. I knew I was forgetting about something. Hey, would you like a green bean? Thanks, this is great. I'm so glad you like it. I really feel bad I didn't bring Pierre a egg now. I just remembered he loves eggs. All right, so four days on parsnips, six days. So let's see, it ends on the eighth. So yeah, nope, that's not gonna work. Potatoes won't work. Yeah, cauliflower w won't work. Parsnips may work. There might be kale could potentially work. So kale actually sells for a lot. Takes six days to mature. Um, Let's see, so, hmm. I don't know. Does that mean like six days from the day you planted it? That could be a bit of a gamble, couldn't it? Oh, garlic seeds. You know what? I'm actually going to grab a whole bunch of garlic seeds because I think that the garlic seeds might be really useful for some of the projects that I have to do. So I'm going to grab some garlic seeds and that should be good. Should be good. Should be good. Okay. Let's see. Wallpaper and flooring for the day. And I do eventually want to come and buy more of the saplings. But first things first is the rabbit hunch. Oh, all right, mm, should I sell these daffodils? Ooh, that could actually, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and sell these daffodils to him because that's a nice amount of uh, money back. All right, so there's that. We could chit chat with the ladies, but not today. Wait, was that Leia? No, that was, that was Robin. I saw the orange hair and I was like, wait a second. All right, oh, there's George. George, hey. And he's up to six hearts now. <laughs> Looks like another gloomy day. Oh, hang in there, George. All right. So I need to stop dilly-dallying. I need to find my scythe and I need to find my wife, my future wife. And I'm gonna just, well, I say stop dilly-dallying. I can't help it. There might be another diamond. Maybe Jody's having marriage troubles and just chucked her diamond ring in the trash. How do I know? It's worth searching. All right, and then we're gonna come down here. I really should get more goats. Oh, I forgot to put some bait. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I forgot to put bait inside of my little, my little crab pot there. There we go. Now you've got some bait in you. Leia? Not here. Man, but look at her art. I mean, look at her art. Ah. All right. This would be part of my life now. I'm okay with that. Because then I think it'll, it'll give me a good extra feeling of happiness about working hard on my farm. I think that that would be a good thing to do. All right. And is she over here today? No. Why can I never find her when I am trying to? I feel like a horrible person. I should know where this woman shows up. I have no no need to like put her around. I, I am coming here with a purpose. All right, let's see if I can find her over here. There are the kids. Hey, Vincent. How are you doing today? Can you keep a secret, miss? Oh, boy. Okay. This might be serious. I want to marry Miss Penny when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's adorable, Vincent. Well, you know, I thought about marrying Miss Penny as well, but you can you can totally have her, sweetie. I found someone else in the end. Just don't tell her, okay? That's adorable. You can play with my dolls if you want to. Just make sure to brush the hair when you're done. Thank you, Jazz. Um, I don't have any of the flowers I could give you, and I don't think you're going to appreciate the daffodil. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving. Leia, where have you gone? I don't remember where you go. There's Penny. There's Shane. There's like everybody else. Leia, why? Why have I forgotten? Nothing's better than an energetic day at the beach with your friends, right? Uh, I'm a horrible person. Why can I not find this woman? I'm just gonna have to like camp outside of her house, I guess. I need to go find my scythe. I guess I'll just go find my scythe first. Is she at the saloon? I don't think she stops by the saloon. Well, I'm gonna go see if my scythe is up at the mines and like plant these garlic seeds. And then we will go and see if I can find Rilea so I can propose to her. This is ridiculous. I should have just stayed. Oh, there's a leak. I'll give that to George. I should have just stayed over by her house when I had the chance. Where is my scythe? <laughs> Did I leave it? I left it. My scythe and my axe are over in the mines. Oh, they're in school cavern mines. How could I have forgotten? How could I have just remembered? I guess I'll take this dwarf gadget. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm just making things more and more complicated to myself, aren't I? Ah, ah, that's that's my, my response to that. All right. Well, still don't have a scythe. Still don't have a wife. Still totally lost. Might as well go to the quarry for crying out loud. See if there's anything here for a second. I'm gonna take my my nerves and my frustrations out on the random rocks here. All right, any iridium? No iridium. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We've got this. We've got this. All right, I'm sure this will work out just the way it's supposed to. All right, no, where am I going? <laughs> I need to stop being so scatterbrained. I'm sorry, you guys. We'll get back into the flow of everything. Don't worry. All right. So I didn't find her over there. Let's try down at her house. Because today is really the day when I wanted to propose. It's the day before the flower festival. I mean, should I propose on the flower festival? If we don't find her, I guess I could try to do that. Would that work? Can you propose at the festival? I'm not sure. That would be really interesting, actually. All right, so if this doesn't work out, we just will propose at the festival. All right, is she home? <sighs> Marnie, I'm at wit's end. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining, right? I love chickens. Leia, let's go check the bar. Sometimes she goes over there, I think? I can't remember. Uh, she comes home really late some days. I could have gone fishing. Oh dear. Maybe I'll just propose the day of the flower festival. I know so many of you guys are going to be raging because you're going to be like, Siri, don't you remember her schedule? No. Oh, where is she? Rosestone, is she like asleep now? Am I really not going to be able to propose to her today? Have I really just wasted more or less the whole day running in circles, not gathering anything? I am. Oh, there she is. There she is. There she is. There she is. She was in the forest. Of course. Leia. Oh, hi. You want to talk? Yes, I've been looking for you everywhere. This is this is actually super important. The landscape around here gives me lots of ideas. It's almost like the terrain is a sculpture itself. <sighs> she was just out looking at flowers and plants and nature. Of course. That's what I would be doing. And that's why I have something really important to tell for you. I don't just make art for money. It's just an urge that I have. Kind of like me and plants. That's what I'm saying. So, Leia. Oh, gosh. Farming, oh my goodness. Farming seems like a very rewarding profession. You get to create delicious food for everyone. Yes, yes I do. You're probably busy, sorry. No, no I'm not. All right, Leia, this is this is it. Like, yes, farming is rewarding. It's hard work too. And I, I can't guarantee it's like monetarily successful. But Leia, Leia, there we go. Would you consider joining me in that farming expedition? <laughs> I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. Oh gosh. Okay. She wants to hurry things along. I thought it was five days. Oh my goodness. I'm a little nervous, but happy. Oh my goodness. I am too. Finally. We've done it, you guys. We're getting married. Ah, oh, that was, that was a lot. That was a lot more like work than I thought it would be just to track her down so that we could get married. But 
I can't believe I did that, man. You know, when you're still single and living the single life as a bachelorette, then you can really feel like the whole world is sort of open to you. And then you hand somebody basically like the the, the, the mermaid's pendant. And that means you've made like a really solemn promise to that person. And I mean, I feel like I have to take all of my farm life much more seriously now, you guys. I feel like I really need to get things together and spruce the place up. I need to take care of all my animals. And oh, gosh, it's just a lot to think about. And I, I'm really going to enjoy it. All right. Well, that was a pretty chaotic day. I feel like I was just absolutely all over the place. I didn't even give Pierre that sashimi. And I walked right up to him and I talked to him. I didn't give Kent his mayonnaise. Oh, my goodness. That's all right. It's almost nighttime. We might as well just tidy up the farm a little bit and then go to sleep. I need to go up to the mines on the first day that I possibly can just so I can get my axe and my scythe back because those are really important tools to have. And I kind of want to tidy up like this part of the farm. I'm thinking about maybe having like a, uh, I think we'll get a rabbit. We will upgrade the chicken coop. And we will go ahead and we will get a rabbit. But I think down here I would love to have like a gigantic grass and flower field. And have rabbits frolicking and all sorts of fruit trees growing. So I think that's what I'm going to work on for this part of the farm. Uh, just to make it like really sort of like a nature area. Almost like it's more part of the forest. I think that would be just a lot of fun. Alright, let's get rid of these. Out of my way, out of my way, fellow grass. Like bad kind of grass. Alright, there we go. Take care of that. Ah. <sighs> I can't believe we did it. All right, well, I'm getting married, you guys. I'm getting married and I feel like I need to make this farm even better than ever and really tidy it up and and just, it's it's kind of a, a bit of a mess. I'm willing to admit that now. Kind of a bit of a mess and I'm gonna work on it. Wow, and tomorrow is gonna be the flower festival and we're gonna be dancing with our fiance. So, oh, that's a big deal. That's really cool. All right, and I should probably go ahead, pickled green beans. <laughs> I should probably go ahead and grab some fruits that we can go ahead and pickle. Something is better than nothing. Um, if not the ancient fruits, I should have a whole bunch of... Uh, if not the ancient fruits, I should... In fact, let's go ahead. Do I have... Yeah, we'll put the quality fertilizer away. And I should have a whole bunch of extra fruit inside the barn, actually. So we'll go grab that and toss it into the preserves jar. And slowly but surely, I will stop being so distracted. Come on. Come here, come here, cheese. I will stop being so immensely distracted by wedding preparation and I will get back to work focusing on actually taking care of my farm and working on growing the farm. So we'll get there, you guys. All right, all right, come on over, Rose Stone. And we're gonna go ahead and toss these things into the preserves jar. Oh, I have more, I have four preserves jars. I was a little bit off of my timing. All right, there we go. And we'll ship out these pickled green beans. And I'm probably forgetting to do like a bazillion and a half different things that I should be doing. But we're just going to let that be okay today. And we will be making a lot more money once those cranberries get up and going inside of the greenhouse. So don't worry about the money factor. It will get much better as time goes on. Because cranberries are basically going to be like the name of the game. And we should be making tons and tons of money off cranberries in the future. All right, I'm going to put the little dwarf gadget away. And then I guess I will see you guys tomorrow when we are going to go dance at the flower festival with our new fiance. So, wow, we did it. We made a decision. I'm excited. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.